We're very happy this morning to uh, be hosting this capital forum devoted to healthcare companies in collaboration uh, with the Center for Advanced Sensor Technologies at Stony Brook University. Uh, I am Neil Kaufman, the chairman of the board of the Long Island Capital Alliance. Uh, I'm very happy that so many of our uh, my fellow directors and officers are here with us this morning. Uh, I'm also the, a partner and the chairman of the corporate department at Abram Spensterman, one of Long Island's largest and best scoring law firms. For over 25 years, the Long Island Capital Alliance has assisted local companies in raising growth capital. We've made dozens of matches over the years, uh, helping companies raising hundred, to raise hundreds of millions of dollars. We're very proud of the of our track record in assisting growth in the local economic community and building companies. One of our latest success stories, which I'm happy to talk about, you may have seen it written about in the newspapers last week, was that A Plus Technologies, which was a presenter at our September 2012 Cybersecurity Capital Forum, successfully raised $12 million of growth equity capital from Hong Kong based Westbury Capital. Uh, that's just the latest example of what we try to do here, and uh, we certainly look forward to some of the companies presenting this morning succeeding similarly. In addition to helping companies raise money, um, you, you may notice that there are a lot of experienced entrepreneurs and executives that typically attend these capital forums, and a lot of times we find companies need that assistance as well, in addition to strategic relationships, and many of those relationships have been formed at these events over the years, as well as capital forming relationships. So, one of the things that we're excited about at Long Capital Alliance is that we are about to launch our new website. It's not live yet, but it will be in the next week or two. Just to give you a little bit of a sneak preview, that's what the homepage is going to look like, more or less, subject to a few last-minute tweaks. Uh, uh, th this is uh, some more of the specific content that you'll see. So keep an eye on that. We'll be putting out a press release and going live with, with the website in the next couple of weeks. Uh, it should make it a lot easier to register for the event uh, and uh, stay in regular contact with our members, our sponsors, and others in the business community, so you can keep an eye out for that. We're very much looking forward to it. At this point, I would like to just introduce briefly Larry Weber from the Stony Brook University Center for Advanced Sensor Technologies. Larry has worked with us collaboratively to put this event together this morning. We're very happy with our relationship with Larry and Stony Brook, and if Larry could just come up and say a couple of words. Thank you very much, Neil. I, I must say it's a pleasure seeing you all and participating in this Long Island Capital Alliance event. I'm Larry Weber. I'm with the Center for Advanced Technology and with the Center of Excellence in Wireless and Information Technology. And through these centers, we provide a portal to all companies who are interested in collaborating with university faculty members or uh, accessing massive uh, research facilities they may not be able to afford to buy themselves. And we even have a budget to offset the costs for companies who are doing this. So if you'd like any further information, I'll be happy to speak with you after the event, after the panel discussion. Thanks so much. Thank you, Bob. So that, that's a great resource that's available to growing companies on Long Island. There are a lot of great resources on Long Island, some of which are, are, are well known, some less well known. And so any companies that can benefit from the assistance of Larry and the folks at Stony Brook, uh, you know, we'd love to see that, and we're happy to make those matches. Um, another example is that our next capital forum on June 14th is going to be done in collaboration with Cold Spring Harbor Laboratory, where we're going to be showcasing uh, several of the latest hot technologies developed there. Of course, uh, Cold Spring Harbor has a long history of inventing great stuff, for lack of a better scientific term, uh, and turning them into successful companies, uh, both going public and being sold to large pharmaceutical companies. So we're very much looking forward to our event in June. Uh, let me just tell you uh, for a few seconds how, this, how the rest of the event is going to go this morning. We're going to have uh, presentations by six companies. Each presentation is going to last about seven minutes. After each presentation, we'll have time for a couple of Q&As. We'll try not to go too long with that so we can keep the event on schedule as much as possible. We're already starting a few minutes late because of the snow. After all the presented companies are done, we will then have a panel discussion with our three industry investment experts. 
We'll have some Q&A with the panel from the floor, and then we'll close the event. After the wrap-up, if anybody would like to speak directly with any of the presenting companies, they'll all be outside in the uh, networking area, and we encourage you to continue those conversations. I would like to thank our sponsors this morning, uh, our platinum sponsors, the Long Island Forum for Technology, Insperity, and Abram Spensterman, and our gold sponsors, Citroen Cooperman, Executive Strategies Group, Ruskin Moscow, Deloitte, and MarketWire. So at this point, we're going to commence our presenting company portion of the program. Our first presenting company is Mobile Health One. Mobile